Hi all, in this video we gonna discuss about operation types in inventory. Odo is the best option for effective management of all types of operations in inventory. Providing proper support in inventory management in a company helps the company to run flawlessly. When we talk about Odo as a perfect solution, you will be inquisitive to know the features in it. So in this section, we gonna discuss about the inventory module. So let's get into the module. The Kanban view of inventory overview window will show us all the operation types that's managed by inventory module. And if the database is connected to multiple companies, the operations associated with that uh, company is also visibly visible in this inventory overview window. So let's check how to create a new operation type. So in order to access a new operation type, first we have to navigate into configuration menu and choose operation types. Okay, so here we can see uh, different, I mean pre-configured operation types. So now we need to create a new operation type for that. Click on new button. So here you can see as we have click on new button to create a new operation type. Uh, new fields like operation type, uh, types of operation, reference sequence, company, create back orders, as well as warehouse, barcode, reservation method, respectively. So let's check how to create uh, operation types. Okay, so I'm going to create a new operation type called reception. So let me give it as reception. And you could find some changes on the window as as the selection of type of operation. So first I'm gonna select uh, receipt. So as you have selected receipt, you can see that a small change is triggered in this window that a lot and serial number is created. Okay, now uh, we can see that also as uh, you choose the reception, the location under location tab, the default source location as well as default uh, destination location will be automatically configured okay now here you can give a sequence a reference sequence uh, if you want to give uh, this is not mandatory okay and you can also set a sequence prefix and um, you can also choose a return type so the return uh, here the location is i mean the destination location is uh, default wh stock so you can choose the return type as wh stock itself so click on search more and search for wh stock or uh, yeah here we can choose uh, the return uh, returns okay now uh, while validating a transfer you can ask your customer uh, to choose if they want to make uh, back orders for the remaining product and if you choose it as always then order will automatically create back orders for the remaining product and if you choose never order will cancel the remaining products okay now we can also give a barcode number i mean we can set barcode for this operation type so it can be alphanumeric or simply numeric so let me give uh, barcode number and here we can also set IOT uh, scales that is you can you can choose a scale that used for this operation type and uh, those scales can be used uh, to weight the packages created so here you can use the scale as shop and here you can also give a ship shipping labels that printer and if you want to create uh, this in automatic, I mean, uh, automatic uh, batches, then enable this feature automatic batches. So if you enable uh, like contact, career, destination, uh, country, source, location, and destination location, you can uh, group these batches on, on this, on this features. Okay. And it is also possible to set maximum lines per batches. So if I have set 10 as the maximum, uh, maximum line per batches, so that batch will only contain or trend 10 transfers only can be included in that transfer. And you can also set maximum transfer, uh, per batch. So let it be 10 itself. And you can also set a maximum weight per batch. So if I'm setting it as 100, and uh, so we are, 
the weight cannot be exceeded uh, exceeded a uh, hundred and you can also um, if you want to make an auto confirmation for this operation type you can just enable the button auto confirm okay now if you want to get uh, the if you want to show uh, the picking lines to represent the detailed stock operation you can enable this feature now let me save this so under operations you can see a new new operation type is created uh, that is reception now let me create another operation type that is food delivery so let the operation type be uh, delivery and here we can give delivery as the prefix i mean the uh, sequence prefix as out and if you want to give a barcode it is possible to give barcode number uh, so let me also choose a return type so let it be yeah we can choose the uh, delivery orders return type okay and we can also create uh, back orders uh, by choosing the options that provided by Odoo and here we can uh, create lot numbers as well as uh, the other feature is same as that of uh, the uh, the type of operations that we choose that is uh, received so here we can choose a lot of serial number that means we can create lot of serial number uh, so let me uh, enable this feature and uh, save this so um, you can either use the existing lot number okay uh, or you can create a new lot number so we'll show you how to create a new lot number so let's group uh, group the automatic uh, batches based on these features and save save this okay so another operation will be created uh, here that is delivery now let's check how to create a uh, this lot and serial number lot and serial number is actually different okay uh, lot is different uh, from serial number serial number will be given for every individual product but uh, in case of lot lot number we will be grouping all these individual product into one package and for that package we will be giving the lot number so let's check how to create a lot number for that go to configuration settings uh, and we have to uh, enable the lot and serial number under traceability so yeah here we have already enabled so lot and serial number is uh, used for traceability that is uh, which means tracking of the product so once you enable this you can create lot and serial number in two methods okay so under product as you have enabled the lot and serial number in settings you can see under product menu lot or serial numbers is visible so here we can see the already configured lot and serial number and it is possible to create a lot and serial number so here uh, automatically a lot serial number is generated if you want to edit that you can uh, edit it on uh, based on your wish so let it be okay this is the lot number so, so if you want to set this lot number or serial number for a particular product you can choose the product okay so uh, currently i'm leaving this uh, product field as empty so i can use this lot or serial number for any of the product okay and i'm not setting the quantity if i am uh, setting the product only i can uh, set the quantity so i'm not uh, setting the product so if you want to give any description regarding the lot and serial number it is possible to give so let me give the description as this lot or serial number could be used for any of the okay product so let me save this okay we have to choose a product that's mandatory field 
okay let me choose so if you want to set the quantity you can set uh, so there's a mistake what have uh, given that is uh, we have to give the uh, product um, so this lotus serial number can be used for particular product okay cannot be used for uh, all products so could be used for the product so let's edit this this lot and uh, serial number could be used for only for only stone with green variant okay so let me save this now there is another possible method to create lot and serial number okay that is uh, let's go to product menu and choose a product yeah before that i have uh, skipped a thing so as you have given a lot and serial number for the uh, product here two smart tabs will be visible okay so let me choose this lot and serial number Okay, here you can see two smart tabs, that's location as well as traceability. So uh, under location, we, we will get uh, the products that comes in which are locations, okay. And under traceability, we can uh, trace the uh, product, okay. It is possible to trace uh, the movements of the product with this uh, lotto serial number. So let's check how to create lotto serial number in another method. So let's go to product menu and choose products and let's choose uh, acoustic block screen as a product. As we have uh, enabled lot and serial number, it is possible to create lot and serial number from here. Uh, like under inventory, we can see a traceability uh, field or tab is enabled as we have enabled uh, traceability in the configuration settings. So if you want to track a particular product, you can uh, on basis of unique serial number just choose this option uh, or if you want to trace uh, or track the product on basis of lot or serial number i mean lot number you can choose the second option that's by lots and if you don't want to track the product you can just use not tracking so this is how we make tracking of the products okay now let's go back to the operation types and uh, discuss the rest of the operations so that's how we use uh, that's how we use uh, the lots of serial numbers in operation type or creating lot of serial number okay now we're gonna discuss about internal transfers so let's give the operation name as internal transfer okay and let's give uh, the prefix as int and if you want to print this label um, in operations, then you can enable this box. And if you want to uh, set barcode for this, you can also set. And you can also choose a return type for this. So let me choose a return type. And the all other features uh, are uh, same as that of reception as well as, I mean, receipts as well as delivery. Now let's save. Yeah, let's try to save this. We have to set this uh, default source location as well as uh, destination location. So let me choose the default source location as. Yeah. So we can choose different warehouses. So warehouse one be the uh, default source location. Uh, that is a WH stock and let the default destination location be WH3. Okay. So also change the return type accordingly. So let me choose returns of WH3 uh, returns. Now save this. So we can see that another uh, operation type that is internal transfer is created under this list so here it is visible now let's check uh, how to create operation type manufacturing 
So let's give the operation type as manufacturing and we can set a sequence number for this. So let it be MN and if the user want to uh, make back orders it is possible to uh, make ba uh, back orders and in case of uh, manufacturing uh, like there is a difference between uh, difference in the traceability that is we can create lot of serial number for the components so if you want to create a lot of serial number for the components just enable that and you can also uh, can I mean consume reserved lots of serial numbers automatically so if you want uh, to use both these features just check this box and we have to give a source location as well as destination location for this so let me choose a source location as wh and let the destination location be wh3 uh, okay setting the source location and def uh, destination location uh, so save this okay so we have also created a uh, operation type for manufacturing so this is how we create operation types uh, manually in inventory so if you have any r doubt regarding this topic uh, please do comment uh, hope uh, you have understood this video so hope you are thorough with the topic thank you for watching